let's say that I have a triangle, and it's going to look very similar to this. Um, and it has sides of 4 and 4. What length, if placed here, would not form a triangle? Would we have issues if there's a certain length there? Joey. If it equaled 4? I can make a triangle out of that. That's an equilateral triangle, right? Give me a number that wouldn't work. Lucky? 400,000, sure. That's, yeah. If I had 400K, well, I do. It's just in the bank, that's all. Okay. If I had 400K here, um, we'd have a little bit of an issue, and this isn't even proportional, right? Those two little buddies there wouldn't be able to slap hands. Where's the... Um, but where's the limit? Because you went you went way over the top with 400,000, right? You're like, let me pick a number that's way bigger. Yeah, where's the limit there? Say again? Eight or greater, right? Because even if I put an eight here, right? If I put an eight here, this guy and his soulmate here, they're going to... Oh, no, we're not going to be able to meet. So this number right here has to be less than eight less than eight and greater than what zero right it has to be less than eight and greater than zero okay so that gives us some information and you children at home i hope the four hundred thousand uh oh okay good your next screen press will be at right huh no way did that just oh no okay good we're still going okay so if this number has to be between 0 and 8. Uh, whoa. Yeah, okay. So if 2x has got to be an element of 0 to 8, then what does x have to be? It has to be between 0 and what? 4. Nice. We've got a domain for x. Sweet. Okay, so I want to write this down first. x. Um, so this is going to be our length that we pick. It has to be between 0 and 4. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's a good start. I'm going to erase this garbage over here so I have some more space. The question is asking for a domain and range for perimeter and area. Let's talk about perimeter for a second. How could I write an equation in general terms or using numbers as well for perimeter? P of x, right? Perimeter with respect to x would be, Joey? 8 plus how many x's? 2 x's. Good. Right? I already know the domain for x, right? The domain of this function is going to be from 0 to 4. Could I determine the range? Well, what's the greatest possible perimeter then? Could it equal 24, though? No. 16? Okay. Could it equal 16? No. It's going to fall just short of 16, right? So let's take these two values. Let's plug in P of 0. Well, if, if we plug in 0, we get 8. Jack says if we plug in 4, the upper bound of our domain, we get 16. Well, it can't equal 8 because that side can't be 0, and it can't equal 16 because that side can't be 4. Therefore, our range, have a nice day, would be between 8 and 16, but it couldn't equal either of those. Does that make sense? Exactly, Nicole. Uh, all of this stuff up in like this area. Okay, just look at that and see if you can make sense of it. Otherwise, ask your uh, ask your parents. Okay, so height is square root of 
16 minus x squared. All right, I want to find the domain of this. Oh, goodness. Are there any restrictions on the domain of this function? Is there a denominator? No. Is there a square root? Yes. So let's talk domain. Domain will be determined by making sure that the inside, right, the inside of this radical called the radicand is greater than or equal to zero. Okay? Greater than or equal to zero. So I add, I get 16 is greater than or equal to x squared. I take the square root, I get plus or minus 4. Of course, minus isn't going to make sense here. So x has to be less than or equal to 4. But, but x can't equal 4, right? we got to go back here for a second. So is it okay if I just say the domain will be the same as before? It's worth checking if there's any restrictions within that original window. But is it okay now that x is greater than 0 and less than 4? Yeah, we, we just confirmed that that works as well. Okay, so now we talk range. I'm going to check 0 and I'm going to check 4 in this function. The area with respect to x, if I plug in 0, is going to be 1 half of the base times the height. I don't have to go any further. Why? Because this right here is just going to make the whole thing zero. So the area is zero if x is zero. That's the lowest possible area. Of course, it's not going to equal zero because we can't have that value. The area if x is four will be one half two times four times the square root of 16 minus 16. Uh-oh. Do we have a problem? Do we have a problem? Yeah, we do. Let's take a step back for a second. Hey, kids at home, you can use a calculator. Once we find this function here, we can plug it into our calculator. We know this is the domain. We can now find this max value by using technology. Okay. Uh, I think that's good for now.